surprised me a lot, like with Mr. E not what? being there, a lot of the Tri-State people, I don't know. I mean, they not, not they might not be ranked, but like, Tri-State washed up? They're all really good. Tri-State washed up? Nah, no way. No way. Tri-State still has Tweak and Nairo into <gasps> Buzz. Triforce. Can I play Cloud? What? Oh Can yeah, he does Cloud? play this character. Really? I've Blue. seen Sheik and Wolf, but... Three, this is like his one, third. Go! Third area, territory. Territory? Does that work? Because sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. Third and second deck, third and second. After, after secondary. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yeah, so like, I, I've never really seen him play. I just know he's beaten Cam before, so I imagine that he knows his his days now, in combos. I, I've, uh, I watched him at the UCI Invitational, which is the pot bonus. Uh, crazy stuff. He always lends the combos, and he's a great guy to be around. But if there's one thing, oh, he's got dice. If there's one oh. thing I will say, he's got crazy RNG. Oh. One match, I think he pulled out two stitches and it oh, got no, on. that's that's not a person you want to fight against. That has good RNG and they're playing Daisy. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, nice. He should be dead here. The only thing Can could have done uh, to live is charge limit to get like the. Yeah, but yeah. And he needs to be careful right now because like K9 Bruce knows that he's one down tilt away from eating a lot of punishes. Great spot down for him to avoid it. The up he had a shield, but that's like the one like thing everyone knows Cloud about. This is the up he had a shield, but like what if it's about time until Silex tries to bait it out and go for a huge punish. And y'all people who say Daisy's bad, you're wrong, okay? He's a good character. I'm tired yeah. of you peach Daisy players saying, oh my character sucks. You know, my, they Wait, nerfed, they nerfed it. People think this character is yeah. not good? Yes. Who? people out there. That's crazy. This character yeah. is, like, not even arguably top tier. She is top tier. Patience. Yeah. You want to see if he can, like, get a shield poke there. And Solox doing so good. Like, it's, a, it's just the, the very threat of the float cancels. It's just enough to, it just shuts out a lot. And the fact that she gets a projectile that can be comboed into, like that's crazy. Yep. And Soul X plays so patient. Especially when uh, Daisy has the lead like this, you're like forced to approach and make more mistakes and you get hard punish. Carrier's punish game is insane. Look, he's just bashing the down tilt because he knows he get like a down tilt fair at this point. Oh. And oh, great flow cancel to bait it out. And he's got the, oh, barely missing him out. Trying to go for nice. the down air and just faced it out. I mean, that's how frustrating days can be, like, just spacing with the aerials, because, like, you don't expect her to have a lot of range, but once she gets in with the down tilt and the easy combo with the float cancels, she feels like a sword character with how fast, how fast she can wall you out. Yeah, it's really scary, especially in a situation like this where you're, like, down by so much. That barely killed, by the way. Barely killed. I'm sorry. <laughs> And trying to get something down, but Solex doing such a good job really showing how disciplined he is. Because, like, most Daisy players, they just love to run in directly and go for the float cancels. But knowing he's got the lead, he's trying to use the safest options. But good as the K9 Bruce annoying and acknowledging that he's in this disadvantaged state. But he's got to go for a Hail Mary if he really wants to get this game any closer. Yeah. And he has the character to do it. Oh, we got a shield poke. Okay. He's not going to do that much damage, unfortunately, for him. But it's at least only he, like, knocks hit. him on stage. Yep, hits him with the blade beam for a little more damage, but the dash tag clips him out. He's got to charge that limit or try to go for something. Even the back air wasn't placed well enough, and Solex gets away with it. And back on center stage, forcing K9 Bruce directly oh, back into goodness. the corner. Look at this threat yeah, of it. Yeah, the flow cancel movement from Solex is actually really good. It's hard to get a read on when he's going to approach. Because mm -hmm. like they'll condition you to shield, and then down throw down. Oh, oh my god, it ate right through the shield. And he's got to be careful. K9 Bruce stuck in this corner. He's been stuck in this oh. for ages at this point. Still living. And forced him to burn the limit as well. Oh no, yeah. you can't do that, K9. Oh goodness. Because like Solix makes very few mistakes. Like look at him. He's just Yeah, he's he's not really doing Oh my that hitbox is insane. I think it traded with his F tilt. Maybe they extended his hitbox a little yeah. bit. No, actually Solex. He got Still, though. Like from UCI he actually managed to get a uh what is it called? It's not a sponsorship. I don't know. Uh, a scholarship. Oh, scholarship. He got a scholarship. That's why he's sponsored by UCI. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. She has a really good university. You see, no, you see, it's pretty good, like esports generally. Yeah, that's true. All right, now the wolf is out. Now it's out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I wouldn't feel too confident about that cloud at that time. But like, understandably, why Cloud's got like a bigger disjoint than Wolf. And let me tell you, you want to space Solex out because if he lands one hit, don't even let him touch you at that point. I guess. 
think he went Cloud first because his Wolf lost in the past, and like Cloud seems like a good idea versus Daisy, but Solar she was prepared for that. Didn't add up. Yeah. I, I think he's even more prepared for this Wolf. There's a there's like a few good Wolf players at UCI on that. I mean, UCI is known for their Belmonts. Oh yeah, like yeah. Uh, Dom. Uh -huh, Dom, and then there's uh, I don't know. I tried to play friendlies and he pulled out a Belmont, so I was like, no. <laughs> what's this? But K9 Bruce is doing a much better job. He, he knows he has to play patient. Like, yeah. makes one, you make one small mistake against Solex, you eat 60%. Yeah. And he's right now, he's in a bad position because that's going to be a more throw. And here comes the edge guard. He needs to find a way around it, barely gets away. But here comes the float cancel. It's such a threat, and he just gets away with it. Finally gets back on the center stage, but at that time, Sol X quickly on the chase. Yeah, I really like how patient he plays with uh, Daisy. It's really intelligent. And it's like, you know, he has a good, decent punish game, so, but he doesn't like solely rely on that, you know? He's just like trying to force Cannon to make mistakes. It's just the threat of it. It's it's like, it doesn't seem threatening at first glance, but like when you understand Daisy's frame data and her kill power, you can see why it's such a huge thing. And he wolf flashes back onto the ledge, but the fair forcing him out. Look at that spacing! Yeah. It was really good. Fade back on the 40 after he hit his shield, like with punch in the dash attack really well. Not the best yeah on that dash attack, though. This is his option. If he gets the ledge, oh no. That's some characteristic Solex to go for two smash attacks like that. But Whoa. the scoop of the up smash catching him in the air. Looking much better than game one, I will say that. Yeah, I think in the previous game, like he had already like taken 90 plus percent before he took the first stock. Mm -hmm. What, didn't he lose two stocks? Right. Yeah, he lost two stocks. Yeah, yeah, actually, no, he didn't even take a <laughs> He didn't even take a stock, yeah, yeah, right? Bad. Yeah, it was really bad. But, and also, uh, Wolf has the opportunity to use lasers as well. Yeah, I mean, kind of good, but they can easily like float over those two. Let's go find a way around it, but K9 versus patient movement is doing a really good job working around it. and just perfectly spacing them there as well. This could be a much slower game. Now, you gotta appreciate these moments when they're both playing really patient. And nice conversion from K9, getting plenty of damage down. Solo's gotta be careful, but. Quickly oh. realizing it. Oh, he only got the soft spot at the back here. Missed opportunity, but the down smash quickly out of that spot dodge. And the turn up does miss him out. So he's got to be careful, but great job. Realizing that one float cancel, he can immediately jump out of it. Absolutely. here. Oh. All right, good punish on the missed side beat. The moments are a pretty safe move. Oh, oh. he caught the jump, but luckily he's, uh, he's living just a little bit longer. I, mean, I think so I think K9 start to figure it out. The float cancels and where they're coming from. I think he's just respecting the distance and he's like letting them float there without overextending. And he knows nice. that's safe. That up tilt on shield oh. is not safe though. But the back throw did get nerfed and great. Use oh, oh my good god! Good pressure too. That was a really good angle after getting the reflector. Oh, such a scary situation. To they're literally in. .5 oh, away from dying. But K9 Bruce. So he dash attacked, but her dash attack hit him first before his Oh! Attack. And they have to, he had uh, very little ledge invincibility since he's a high percent. Something you need to keep in mind of, and they both trade. K9, he's forced to full hop, because he can't short hop using his aerials. And oh, here comes the damage. Make one small mistake. We get all of that, but K9 doing such a good job mitigating it. Trying to find his way in, spacing it out, using his F to as his disjoint maneuver. Chess game in this, and the down throw to back air, a quick confirm. Actually, he's gonna nair. Oh, they trade on that All one, right. but. This is good for Solex. Oh, man, good nair to catch that turn. But if it hit, oh, he caught it. Wow, I'm not sure what he was going for. Oh, Counter, he got him. A big, big tech chase there. The one time he misses the tech, Cannon's right there to catch the down smash. Ironic, huh? Yeah, it's kind that of crazy. Solex is able to punish you with one small mistake, but in the final moment, it was him. Who yeah. Made it interesting, interesting. Yeah, I would get off of Pokemon Stadium too. Yeah, yeah. It, I just, feel like, uh, it gives Solix too much room to do. But I mean, it's. Oh yeah, right. Can I probably ban mm -hmm. Pokemon Stadium? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to play it. Either. But a bigger, even bigger stage. Yeah. I think this is <laughs> to give K9 some room. In all honesty. But uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we get to see something out because uh, I know. It's, it's, it's good to, oh, get the shield poked right through. Look at that pressure! At that point, you're better off just taking the hit and getting shield broken. Oh, goodness. Dang. 
It hurts, because even the even the projectiles combo together, but both of them relative even for sense, but don't move. That bear can clip you for plenty of damage and perfectly spaced out. It's probably safe, but the dash attack's got multiple hits on it, but K9 uses the Nair. Solex stuck on the ledge though, but what's the option? K9, you opt to go for the Nair into the back air. They both are resetting right back, but the projectile catches him out into the dash attack conversion. Let's try to establish a space with the laser here. Try to keep Solex honest, but man, again, like every time he's placing these back airs, they're relatively like perfectly spaced. It's very hard to punish, I'm sure. It's just, it's after. It's after the back air is when he gets punished, though. He's got to be careful. k I'm do such a good job. Solex. That's two. Oh, not close enough. That's a safe. I, I, the fact that the side special was safe on shield, too, is quite yeah. annoying. I'm glad k I knows that it's safe. Oh, never mind. He's jumped right into the forwarder. That's unfortunate. Ca caught him slipping and. I was going to say, like, he knows that the side B is safe oh. on the field, but there's the scoop again with the up smash. Only took 10% again. He got up smash in that same position uh, the last game as well. It seems like it's actually not easy to cross up Wolf's shield if he has a move like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's as if the move catches both sides. Of oh, no. Oh. Down throw back Man. air 59. All because he teched in place when Kana thought he had a tech chase. There's a reason why Daisy and Peach are argued to be one of the best characters at some point, but a great use of a footstool farm, actually. Yeah. Okay, oh, he didn't react to the roll. So, this is like the one of the best leads canines had like the whole game. Like, it's only a small percent lead. That, that just shows how close it's something, you know? Yeah. Like, especially the fact that Wolf can capitalize it. Oh no, you almost, almost got, got it again. Him. And that would for sure have killed near the ledge too. Yeah, definitely it was going to be a free stock. But uh, yeah, having a. Wow, oh, bad DI! I feel like that should not have killed there. I, I think he might have slightly DI'd up on that. But we'll take it if you're canine. Now he has a stock lead on top of like, the percent lead as well. Now Solex is forced to make the move. Yeah, and we already saw. Like, we only seen Solex when he's like the, oh, oh my god, canine! Uh, what? What was, was that? that? <laughs> what was that, dude? What happened? He fell through the platform with the down air.